looking to make it three straight against the conference's top dog, the Mountaineers. Yeah, again, Mountaineers playing great. Had five players in double figures in that Georgia Southern win. And, um, and they've just got different guys that step up to the tape and get it done for Coach Kearns. And off we go from Strand Arena. Texas State, Appalachian State meeting for the 18th time. And for the first time in St. Marcus in two years. You know, and it's sort of those things that, you know, we don't see Appalachian State very often every other year. And so it's interesting to get to see different teams from the other side, you would say, of the conference come to Texas. Davion Sykes getting his third straight start. Unable to hit the Bobcats' first shot of the game. We'll look at the starters tonight for Dustin Kearns. Mountaineers with the basketball for the first time. This 10 and 1 conference start, the best for App State in 24 years. Going back to their days in the SOCON, the Southern Conference, and this 19 and 4 start, their best ever as a Division I program. Yeah, you know, when you look at the roster, you know, and, and getting ready for this game, you know, I think they just, ha they're very efficient on the offensive end. They don't turn the basketball over. They shoot the ball at a high rate, and uh, they've got multiple scores, and so it makes it really tough to do a scout against them as you can't you can't lay off anybody. Brandon Love inside, rattles at home. Love coming off. A big game against Southern Miss, 15 points. Kerr high, 14 rebounds as he turned in his fourth double-double of the year. You know, and that's a real key. Texas State is going to try to get him touches early and often inside in the paint. Love is such a force in the interior. Reaching foul against Texas State. Defending inside against Trayvon Spillers. Foul called against Dylan Dawson. And there a look at Mountaineers head coach Dustin Kearns. Already seventh in program history. And wins at App State. A steal by Dawson, but he was out of bounds. He'll stay with the Mountaineers. Had the chance to speak with Dustin Kearns earlier today. Spoke very highly of the camaraderie and the chemistry his team has and feels as if that's given them a, com a competitive advantage this year. You know, and it does. You know, you know, Coach Coach Johnson at Texas State preaches to his guys about being connected, and um, it makes a big difference on the floor, especially when you get into tight ball games. You know you can trust that person to the right or left of you. Sides driving coast to coast. Again, he's had a really strong homestand so far. Sykes averaging 15 points a game so far in this season-long four-game homestand. 4-0 four Texas State. Little runner inside down the shoot for Donovan Gregory. As you look at the starters for the Bobcats, and again, Sykes starting for the third straight game and also for a third consecutive game. You'll see Jordan Mason coming off the bench. And again, Sykes is, you know, brings that energy from the get-go, gives them a bigger lineup, Texas State, and um, Sykes has been really putting up numbers on the offensive end, which has helped because the, they've struggled on the offense uh, a lot this season. A uh, near turnover, then a battle for the basketball. Gregory and Sykes going after it. This will stay with App State with 12 seconds on the timer. You saw the hard trap come on the baseline between Love and Sykes. You know, and one of the things Texas State has, has really grown, at least the last two games in particular, has really picked up their defensive intensity, and they've been, been more physical and aggressive on the defensive end. But you see Donovan Gregory, man, he is a Sun Belt Conference vet. He has been through the wars. He's got all the points right now for the Mountaineers, and again, he's a tough one. He was the one that made the game winner against Georgia Southern on Saturday with nine seconds to go, and then it was just an absent with a game-winning block of Avante Parker at the buzzer to keep this win streak alive. Bucket on the other end, Christian Turner, 6-4, Texas State. You know, and Turner did a nice job shot faking. Again, this team, to say they get a lot of blocks in the game is an understatement for the Mountaineers. They really know how to protect the rim as a team. And again, you look at the Appalachian defense there again. They're not necessarily going to deny. Great shot, great pass there by Dawson. An unbelievable finish there by Turner. Good start for the Bobcats. Four of six shooting as they've taken an early 8-4 lead. With their two wins last week, the Bobcats now tied for 10th in the Sun Belt. 
Remember, if you finish in the top 10, you avoid that play and route of Pensacola. Shot clock down to 10. Here's Terrence Harkin. And he's been on a huge roll as of late. Now Gregory back out to Harkin. Long distance three. And Sykes nears the rebound for Texas State. That's one thing Sykes has done a great job is on the glass. He can rebound out of his area. And again, 6'6", athletic, has really brought another dimension to the Bobcats on the offense and the defensive end. Now Dawson picks up his dribble against Harkham. Shot clock under 10. Bobcats have been good at offense so far, but this is a turnover. Gums has it taken away by Xavion Brown. Yeah, really quick hands there by Xavion Brown. He's an incredible athlete, and, um, you know, Gums has got to make sure he is protecting the basketball with the quick hands. This guy's a great on-ball defender, Brown is. Gums traps, gets around the double team. Five minutes gone by, early 8-6 lead for Texas State. Bobcats here at home this year, 5-4. and four. Mountaineers on the road have been very solid, 6-3, and three, and they've won four in a row. Got a foul here and a timeout on the floor. Reaching foul called against Terrence Harker. Points or less. Yeah, th these teams have really gotten after it. You know, we talked in the onset of the show, Brant, that, you know, they only see each other on one time a year because of the locations and not double head, uh, twice each season. And so, but the games have been super competi competitive, a little bit of a rivalry, and uh, both teams have been, again, pretty good in this league. By the way, correction going into the timeout. I think a reference that whistle was against Harkham. No, it was an offensive foul against Brandon Love. Scoring inside, meanwhile, Trayvon Spillers. Leading scorer for this App State team at 14 points per game. That's his first bucket tonight. And we're tied at eights. Yeah, he's one of the few transfers on this in this program, you know. And we can talk a little more about that. But, you know, a lot of schools are hitting that transfer portal heavy. You look at App State and... They went with more freshmen, a couple transfers this year, and one of them, again, is paying huge dividends, and that's Trayvon Spillers. Spillers coming off his sixth double-double the year, the win over Georgia Southern. Six minutes gone by in this first half, tied at eight. Here's Harkham against Benson. Lost the ball, and that's a turnover for the Mountaineers. First for them tonight, and the Bobcats get it back. Yeah, really quick hands there. And, again, f causing a turnover against the Mountaineers is is outstanding because this team takes care of the basketball. They lead the league in turnovers per game on the good side, Brant, where they don't have many. New off of the Bobcats with an area of concern all year long, lead the, the Sun Belt and turnovers committed. But they've done a good job protecting the basketball so far in this homestand. Shot clocked out of 10. Mason off the screen. Kind roll for Jordan Mason, who seems to re who seems to be responding really well in this role now of coming off the bench. Yeah, and again, you know, you got to put your team in the best position to win games, and so you know you got to tinker with things as a coach. And uh, foul there, an obvious foul there by Jordan Mason. Went for the shot fake, hook line and sinker, as they would say, and uh, we're going to have some free throws. Yeah, Mason goes airborne and flies into the back of Harkham. Junior out of Butner, North Carolina, will go to the free throw line now for App State. Talked about the series between these two, and they've also got to know one another in the postseason. Bobcats in 2020 eliminated App State here, an on-campus site postseason game in the Sunbo quarterfinals the following year. Mountaineers got the revenge, knocked off the top-seeded Bobcats of Pensacola on their way to a Sunbelt Tournament title. Yeah, again, those, I guess, are the games I really particularly come to my mind, Brand, is just it was always at the end of the year. It was always an important game, and uh, these two teams have, again, had some really great matchups and some fun ones to watch. That tournament game in 2021 went to overtime, a near- Miraculous comeback by the Bobcats, spearheaded by Caleb Asbury. One point game. 13 minutes to go here in the first half as the Bobcats play for the third straight win. Mountaineers playing for their ninth. Love inside. Calls a double team. Mason drives to the rim and got swatted away by Huntley. 
Boy, Mason had an open shooter in the corner as well, but didn't see him. Yeah, he did. Benson was open. Again, he had drawn two and uh, just did not see him. And you're looking here again. Huntley does a nice job inside. And again, you know, when you look at this Mountaineer team, they're not, well, I'm going to say flashy, Brant. They just get things done on the offensive end. Um, you know, they find the open man. They share the basketball well. And that's why you see their stats being so indicative of that. Great cut there by Sykes. Great feed by Brandon Love. Really nice touch pass. Able to work out of the double team, and the Sykes had a mismatch against Miles Tate. Spillers scored the last time down for Rap State. A look at a three pointer for Huntley. The big man able to stretch the floor. And the Mountaineers with their first three point hit of the night on top 14 to 12. Yeah, he's a, a great long athlete. Huntley is. Again, preseason, third team all conference for Sun Belt. And so you're looking now pretty consistently. They are, are doubling every time Brandon Love gets the ball inside. Sykes on the reverse. Sykes up to six points. Talked with Terrence Johnson about him earlier today. And he has really responded well to now being a part of the starting rotation. Felt as if when, it, when, the, when they were taking him off the bench, he was just too cold coming into the game. Here's Avion Brown. Match the biggest Mason. Nice spin move in the lane. Off the window. Can't finish. Loose ball, and it's taken away by Benson. Here comes Texas State. Yeah, really good defensive possession there for Texas State. And again, another block. Courtesy of Huntley, that's two of the game for the nation leaders in block shots this year. 14-14 game, nine minutes gone by in the first half. Back after this, it's in the record books in a number of categories, somebody that Dustin Kearns calls an ultimate competitor. Yeah, again, he has laced his name throughout the record books there. And uh, again, a phenomenal player, preseason all-league selection, and uh, rightly so. He's getting it done for the Mountaineers. Pass inside, deflected, taken away by Turner. Right now, Gregory on the bench for App State. Benson, transition triple. And the rebound vacuumed in by Abson. Here comes App State. Game tied at 14. Neither team is led by more than four. Texas State's been doing a nice job getting back in transition and flattening out that transition offense of the Mountaineers. They really like to get out and push it and uh, either drive in and get interior touches or kick for threes. Here's Christopher Mantis, long three. Josh Agar with the rebound. With well, the win tonight, Mountaineers will have their first 20 win season in 13 years. Another chance at a three, that time from Mason. Bobcats have yet to make a three in this game. Halfway through the first half, a foul called against Texas State. Game still deadlocked, 14 apiece. Yeah, again, both teams sort of feeling each other out. You've had some rotations from Texas State. You know, you've got Dawson on the floor. You've got uh, Benson, O'Garo uh, rotated in. And so just some new folks out there trying to get a feel for the game. Pass inside, knocked away by O'Garo. Here come the Bobcats of the way. Dawson to work it back out to Mason. And now Texas State sets up at the half court. Agaro inside, challenges Abson, can't finish around him. Justin Abson, the second leading shot blocker in the country. 72 blocks on the year as Tate works a dribble out against Jordan Mason. Abson inside, draws a double team. Pass deflected, taken away by Dawson. Dawson the other way. Can't finish. Turn of the tip in. Not a leader free throws here for Texas State with a game still tied 14 apiece. Yeah, really great defense by the Bobcats. They're getting out in the passing lanes. They're switching a lot of the plays. The ball screens on the outside of the Mountaineers. And again, just a great follow there by Christian Turner. And, you know, D2 Dylan Dawson is sort of squeezing the ball, frustrated that he missed that bunny. Here's Turner to the free throw line. He's 67% free throw shooter. You know, the Bobcats have played well in the homestand, but they have not shot free throws well. 
61 percent through the last two games as Dustin Kearns makes some wholesale changes here for App State. Four new players onto the floor for the Mountaineers. Yeah, again, both te teams are going to their benches early, getting a lot of guys out there, getting some game minutes to get a feel for the game. And, um, you know, I think you sort of put guys out there to see who's playing well, who's sort of in the flow for that night. Both free throws good for Turner. Gregory back in for App State. Also back in, Trayvon Spillers, Jordan Marshall for the first time. Nine to mark first half in a two-point game. Mountaineers in first place in the Sun Belt. Bobcats tied for 10th. Marsh loses it. Another turnover for App State. Fifth of the half. Dawson, the drive inside. Goes up against Marsh, and he's fouled. More free throws here for the Bobcats. Very aggressive against a team that really protects the rim so well like App State. Yeah, they do. They do a great job of protecting the rim, and they don't foul. You know, they're one of the, the teams in the league that does not foul. They do a nice job on the defensive end. And again, you look at all the stats, I mean, it just flies off the page at you, the job that Coach Kearns has done with the defense of the Mountaineers and how they've been guarding at a high level all season long. Conference leaders in points per game give it up. In a good way, fewest amount give it up. That the conference is scoring defense last year as well. But the Bobcats shooting an honest 44%. They lead 18-14. And this is this has been true in this homestand. Texas State has picked up their defensive intensity, and then on the offensive end, have definitely got to, in a better flow than they had were earlier in the season. Dawson transition three. Dylan Dawson has the first three-point hit of the night for the Bobcats, and on top by seven. This is a 9-0 run for Texas State. Yeah, real, and it's coming from the defense. Texas State is getting aggressive, getting their hands deflections on, on balls, and that's leading to some transition looks for the Cats, not having to go against that set defense of the Mountaineers. Out of the double team, here's Marsh, and Marsh travels. Fifth turnover over the last four minutes for App State, and their sixth turnover of the night. 9-0 run for the Bobcats, leading 21 to 14. After that three from Dawson, that's not five turnovers for Dustin Kern's team over the past four minutes and 14 seconds. Where well, the Bobcats have been aggressive, jump in the passing lanes. It's been a lot of live ball turnovers so far for App State. Yeah, which is very uncharacteristic of what they've done this season. And so, you know, it's one of those things. Coach Kearns is sort of flipping the script here. Coming out a little bit of a zone look instead of the man-to-man, -man, trying to keep Texas State uncomfortable on the offensive end. Pass knocked away. There's a Bobcat turnover. Jordan Marsh, a good defensive play there for App State. Mountaineers haven't scored in close to five minutes. Here's Harkham matched up against Elijah Tate. He's in for the first time. Now Marsh back out to Harkham. Mountaineers trying to feed the ball inside. Now Marsh driving, spinning. And they're going to wave it off. An offensive foul called against Marsh. Tate draws it just in front of the charge circle. That's turnover number seven. Yeah, great job by Tate. Moving his feet, sort of just getting in the way, and um, gets the offensive foul there. Marsh now to the bench here for App State. Talked about this earlier. The Mountaineers have played really well on the road, 6-3, and three, but at home they've been un beatable this year 10 and 0 back home in Boone more than 1200 miles away by the way from San Marcos and they've drawn some large crowds too Suzanne over 7,000 for a home game against Auburn more than 8,000 for a home game against JMU that's unbelievable again the Sun Belt you look at the the attendance records at different places like Marshall and App State and JMU and different places and Again, some that basketball is on the rise. Some really quality basketball in this league, and you're seeing the fans come out to see it. I think it's pretty impressive, too, for App State to get a program like Auburn's into the home center there in Boone, North Carolina. Yeah, anytime you can get a Power 5 program to come to your facility to play, um, something's going right, put it that way, to be able to do that. You know, it's difficult to get those those kind of power five folks to come on the road and come to your venue to play. Meanwhile, for the Bobcats here at home, starting to turn that proverbial corner. 
They've won two in a row here at home. This is a foul, meanwhile, called against Elijah Tate. Wins last week over South Alabama and Southern Miss. And one of the trends behind this two-game win streak has been the way the Bobcats have played defensively. Playing good defense tonight. Harkham lines up a three. And Harkham just one point so far for Rap State. Yeah, really good defense there by Texas State. And again, he had a great look at it and just missed it. Gums high off the window. Able to score over Absent. And now an 11-0 run for the Bobcats. Yeah, that, that was a 10 degree of difficulty for that shot from Caden Gums over Absent. Again, that's a tough target to go over. The freshman Gums with his first basket of the night. Here's Absin in the high post. Game clock under six minutes. Shot clock. Plenty of time for the Mountaineers to operate. Now Tate. Able to hit the turnaround. That'll end the scoring spell for the Mountaineers. It stretched out to about six minutes. Cuts it to a seven-point game. That was a tough shot. Big bucket for the Mountaineers by Tate. Miles getting him back on the scoreboard and narrowing this lead of Texas State. The Mountaineers zone giving the Bobcats some fits. Leads to a turnover. Gregory finds a cutter. Flying in for this dunk is Trayvon Spillers. And there's defense leading to offense for the Mountaineers. Yeah, and again, that's what the Mountaineers have done this season. Again, really strong defense leading to the easy baskets in transition that we talked about that Texas State has got to try to limit Five minutes to go in the half. Good pass inside to Dawson. Shot swatted away by Absin. Yeah, great timing by Absin on that block from uh, of Sykes. Again, elevated at the right time, got a part of the basketball. That's already three blocks right now for the Mountaineers. A team averaging more than seven a game, the nation leaders. Here's Gregory, finds a shooter. Harkham outside from distance. Timeout taken by Terrence Johnson in Texas State. The Mountaineers on a run of their own, a 7 nothing run over the past minute and six seconds. Here's one of them, ranked fourth in the latest poll. Also do note in Joe Lenardi's most recent bracketology, he has App State as a projected 12 seed in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, again, Appalachian State has played really well this year. You know, 19 and 4, and, um, you know, coming in here trying to get a big win to get to that number, big 20, which is that benchmark that you want to get to. Mason, three pointer. Jordan Mason ends at State 7 0 run. Bobcats respond well out of the timeout from Terrence Johnson. Yeah, really good patience by the Cats on offense, getting that interior touch, makes that App State zone. Collapse and gave that open look to Mason and then on the, on the response you look right back at you Here comes the Mountaineers got that interior touch from Gregory and he's gonna get to the free throw line Two free throws coming up for the Mountaineers top foul shooter Donovan Gregory Talked about his heroics on Saturday the game winner to school to Southern Is that a penchant for clutch shots? Had the game tying layup at the buzzer in a non-conference game at Oregon State. The game App State wound up losing it over time, but Gregory sending the game to the extra five minutes. And the kind roll goes in. Six points so far for Gregory. Three-point game under four minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, it's, it's been the kind of half we expected, Brant, coming in. Texas State's been playing well. You knew the Mountaineers were going to come in here and show up. Again, they've got a lot on the line trying to stay in that top seed in the Sun Belt. Last check, the NET ranking is in the 70s for App State. You also think about the potential from that large bid as well. If that were to happen for App State, they would have to win out and probably make a deep run to the Sun Belt Tournament too. So any losses along the way would damage any hopes of that. And don't you know the Sun Belt, you know, would love to become a multi-bid conference at some point. And you need this a, a, a type of run like you're seeing right now from App State, but they have to keep it going for that to be a possibility. Yeah, and again, that's that's a focus. You know, Sun Belt, you look at what football's done in the last year, how many teams got to bowls, and in men's basketball, particularly because it's it's a revenue sport. It's you get a piece of the pie, the number of teams you get in the tournament. You know, you definitely want to move toward that needle toward getting two teams in the big dance. 
One of two for Turner. Splits the two free throws. 27-23, the Bobcat lead. Hosting App State for the first time in two years. Game in St. Marcus a couple of years ago that went down to the wire. Mountaineers got the revenge last year back home in Boone. Shot clock to 10. Here's Gregory against Dawson. Back out. Tate. Off target on the three. And here's Sykes with a rebound for Texas State. And you can tell both teams are putting the chess matches out there, changing defenses, making the offense, try to think about it a little bit. Texas State has went to this zone. And... Um, Now, one of the officials ruling it over yep. and back. The other official saying the ball was touched by Texas State. And I think the initial call is going to be overruled. This is going to stay Mountaineer basketball. Yeah. Again, one official, you have the C official over here that saw the, the touch, that pick, and it determined it was last touch by Texas State when it went back across the half-court line. And so it's going to be Mountaineer basketball, Texas State, again, still taking that one one, two, two, three, two look, changing up the, th the defenses on the Mountaineers, making them try to second guess. Great. Okay. Yeah. Nice pass inside of Spillers, has his second finish at the rim. A player that takes a lot of high percentage shots. Trayvon Spiller, a 64% field goal percentage on the year, top 10 of the country. Dunks will help. I was about to say, it, all, it helps a lot when the shots you're getting are dunks. Boy, that um, was. A, a really a contact play there. You had a lot of contact there with Turner and Miles sort of colliding on that back cut ball going out of bounds. And I think Texas State got the favorable bounce and is going to get the basketball back with 14 ticks left on the shot clock. Dawson checks out. Mason triggers it in to Brandon Love. Love's been kind of quiet. App State doing a good job doubling him every time he touches the ball. Shot clock to six, and here's Love with the pose. Huntley, though, with the foul. But the Bobcats not in the bonus yet. Yeah, really good execution on offense. You know, Texas State, you can't go away for trying to get Love touches. You know, early they were double teaming him. Now they're switched back. They're running man-to-man. -man. You've got to try to get him some opportunities inside to go to work. Two minutes to go. Here's Mason, the pull-up. Off the side of the backboard, put back Love, missed the bunny. And, and those are the kind of shots Brandon Love has got to finish for Texas State. You know, worked hard, got the offensive rebound, and, uh, you know, you're walking away with nothing. Now we get a foul. You're, the rest of the way, App State's in the one and one. With a minute 49 to go. Foul against Sykes, his second, so he'll come out. App State, you see the record 19 and 4. They're one of 13 teams in the country, 15 games over 500. That is a first for this Mountaineer program since 2007. Spillers, the one and one. And one more coming up. Trayvon Spillers, first year transfer to the program from Moberly Area Community College and was recently named to the Lou Henson Award watch list, which goes to the nation's top mid-major player. You know, under two minutes now, one point game here in this first half. And you look, App State's gone back to that man to man, sort of packing it in, going to make Texas State take a difficult shot. And again, they need to get a touch if they can inside to Love. Mason shot clock out of seven, drives, able to score off the glass. Looking not easy to go against the trees down low for App State and score, but Mason does it there for a three point lead. Yeah, really tough shot there. Great finish. And here you're looking, the Mountaineers are just moving the ball around. Got a great look there to three. And uh, Texas State again gets another big stop. Harkin the miss. So far in this first half, Terrence Harkin, one of seven shooting. Spillers the deflection. Under a minute to go. Yeah, Spillers is doing a great job on Love, really moving his feet, not letting Love get his body against Spiller's body. And if you're offense, you want that contact so you can feel them. 
and be able to roll off them just like you saw Love do right there. If you're defense, you want that cushion. A couple of good looks in the paint for Love here late in the first half, neither falling. Gregory loses it. Eight turnover for App State, and the Mountaineers are maybe going to get it back. They will. Loose ball taken away by Harkham. Alley-oop for Huntley. Offline. And now after the Bobcats, you can hold for the final shot. Yeah, and I think you see Coach Johnson calling for that. You know, he's done a great job of getting his guys ready to play this top in the Sun Belt Mountaineer team. And, um, you know, they can go into halftime with a lead. The Mountaineers only trailed at the half eight times this season. Down to the final five seconds. Mason to Gums. Gums spins, fades, fires, and air ball. There should be some time left on the clock, but the officials, I think, are saying that's going to take us to halftime. At the end of the first half, Texas State on top. A uh, senior that has not played since that ball game for Texas State. Tyrell Morgan. Yep, yep, had a big game, and um, again, that's when things started. The different pieces had to get moved around for Coach Johnson, and again, he's used his magic and gotten the Bobcats right now playing pretty good basketball. Texas State on the year is 8-2 and two and leading at the half. On top by three to start the second half here. Turner inside, tough basket. And a good start in the second half for Turner, who has seven. Yeah, difficult shot there. Was able to keep his feet under him and uh, get that basket. A great defense there by the Mountaineers. After Turner now nine points on that bucket to lead all Bobcat scores. Miles Tate, the answer. Good-looking shot there from the former Butler Bulldog in his first season with the Sap State program. Yeah, again, he, Caden Gums has got his hands full tonight. Tate Miles is really playing well, but again, you look at that response right there from Gums. He's not, he doesn't back off. He's going to take it at the rim. Great finish there by the freshman Gums. Well, you see the big 6'9", 235 pounds, just an absent, just waiting there in the paint, but Gums able to just get it over his outstretched hand. Lead back out to five, 33-28. You know, with Coach Johnson, with these guys, you know, you've got a lot of young guys that play in this rotation for Texas State. And, um, you know, a lot of it's about confidence. You know, them having confidence to go out and do the things necessary to win ball games. And so you have to ride that fine line of being critical as a coach or correcting them and also giving them a little bit of a pat on the back. Brandon Love had it blocked away. Trayvon Spillers on the block. Here come the Mountaineers of the way. Lead down to three. And here's Absent inside. Starting left, coming right, scoring. And a chance now to tie the game. Yeah, that's a great move inside by Absent. Brandon Love has got to stay down and move his feet. Did a nice up and under. Got Love to lift a little bit out of balance and drew the foul and made the basket. Absolutely not a great foul shooter, 42% on the year. I can talk about him as a shot blocker. Misses the free throw. Absent in this game with one block shot. He is now too shy of sending a program single season record. Yeah, again, he's got really great timing. And again, Gums is in a little bit of trouble there. Gets steps through. And uh, Dawson's got a good look at it, but misses the whole bucket. Harkham a good late closeout. Here come the Mountaineers. Gregory for the lead. Donovan Gregory in transition, puts the Mountaineers on top. Yeah, and that was one of the things Texas State did a really good job in the first half of getting back and matching up in transition, not giving any easies to the Mountaineers. And they've gotten one right there out of the out of the get-go. And another block by the Mountaineers, and they're getting out in transition. I have a feeling Coach TJ may be getting a timeout here soon. Out of bounds. Last touch by App State. It's going back to the Bobcats. Last block meanwhile, absence. That's his second of the night. And with that, Brandon Love to the bench and Jordan Mason is in. So now the Bobcats a much smaller lineup. Yeah, they are. They're going small and, um, you know, going to try to Space them out and use their speed. It looks like App State may be making a, a defensive change here with Love going to the bench. Shot clock out of 10. Here's Dawson. Now Sykes. 
Mason, five left on the timer. Mason's got to put it up. Long distance. Jordan Mason. From way beyond the three-point line. Bobcats back in front, 36-34. Yeah, huge shot there by Jordan Mason. You know, Coach Johnson has said the called him. He has that gene, that it thing that makes you be able to win ball games. And then a steal. Here's Gums. Finds Mason cutting inside. Jordan Mason starting to heat up. Great pass there by Gums. Way to run the floor. Jordan Mason gets rewarded at the end with a big bucket. Bobcats in front by four. 38-34. So the Mountaineers got out two big road wins last week. Got to find a way to win here tonight. Here's Tate. Three-pointer no. Rebound Sykes. Bobcats the ball a four-point lead. Gums runs, finds Mason, doesn't pull the trigger. Instead, back inside to Sykes. Really great job by Texas State sharing the basketball, moving the ball around the arc, finding the best opportunity for a score, getting an easy bunny there for Sykes. Two teams have traded runs. Bobcats at a 7-0 run, leading by six. A little more than four minutes gone by in the second. Now Gregory gets it back from Harkham. Measures up against Dawson. The vet going to work. Puts it up. And then a foul on the rebound called against Christian Turner. Absent being helped up by his teammates. And this one's gotten fun in a hurry. Each team finding their footing, finding their footing off Eastern Kentucky has more blocks this season. 72 coming into the game. Two more here tonight. Absin now one block away from setting a single season program record. He's going to get there for sure. And in the game last week in Atlanta, he was three blocks shy of a triple double against Georgia State. Out of the timeout, missed three from Tate's. Battle for the rebound. Last touch by Spillers. And the Bobcats get it back. Yeah, good physical block out there by Christian Turner. You notice now App is extending their pressure a little bit. You know, they're they're getting trying to get a turnover, get an easy, an easy bucket on the offensive end from their defense. Look at this Bobcat team. There's a different look to them since the calendar turn of February. Been a very common story for them in recent years as Sykes flies in and flushes on the feed from Christian Turner. Yeah, great, great offensive work there by the Bobcats. And again, They've got to do a better job. They've got to try to keep the Mountaineers out of the paint, turning that corner on these ball screens. 9-0 run for the Bobcats. Savion Brown inside. Got position, but unable to hit the lay-in. It's been now more than three minutes since App State last scored. Gums off the screen. And now Mason picked up by Gregory on the drive. Tough layup. Put back. Turner, no. Good look but unable to finish. And again, Texas State getting back on defense. That's one of the things when you miss a shot or have a turnover, you've got to get back. The Mountaineers run the ball back. They're going to run it down your throat if you're not back and be able to flatten them out. Tate in trouble in the lane. Finds Gregory inside, lays it in. Great cut there by Donovan Gregory. Found that open spot in the middle of the Texas State defense and is rewarded with the layup. First Mountaineer to double figures tonight. Gregory has 10. A player that's now started 116 games in his App State career. The only Mountaineer to play in more games ever. Justin Forrest. Pass inside and miscommunication leads to a turnover. For the Bobcats, just their seventh tonight. Mountaineers the ball, trailing by six. Gregory inside again. Donovan Gregory starting to find his groove for the Mountaineers. Yeah, he is such a tough matchup for any of the guards for Texas State because he's what I call playing bully ball. He is just going to back him down into the middle of the paint and then rise up and shoot over him. And uh, he is a physical, thick guard, and he has a really nice touch around the rim. Shot clock to 10. Here's Mason, matched up against Tate, pulls up. Turner the put pack and he's fouled. And Turner is down in a big way as well. Christian Turner, first year transfer from Troy. Down right now for the Bobcats.
saw him and C.J. Huntley kind of collide going for the rebound, and Turner now up to his feet. Yeah, Christian Turner has done a great job this last homestand of really crashing the offensive glass, trying to get extra possessions. And, again, he can do that with his size and his frame. And, again, Texas State needs those extra touches as many times as they can, trying to get offensive opportunities. So Turner taking his time before taking the first of two free throws. But a good night so far for Turner. Nine points. And look there, Terrence Johnson, two-time sub conference coach of the year. On the topic of coaches, thoughts go out to Jay Ladner and Southern Miss, the reigning Sun Belt coach of the year, Jay Ladner, suffered a heart attack yesterday. So he has stepped away from the team as he recovers from that episode, the Golden Eagles hosting Old Dominion. And, of course, Old Dominion head coach Jeff Jones himself had an episode earlier in the year, and he's away from his team as he undergoes treatment for prostate cancer. Turner misses the both. 42-38, 13 minutes to go. It's Harkin, kind of a quiet night by his standards. Absent inside, he lost it. Here comes Texas State. Bobcats have numbers. Sykes inside. And more free throws coming up here for Texas State. Boy, the Bobcats have been very aggressive attacking the rim all night long. Yeah, they really have. And, you know, really great hands there here by Mason with the pick. And then David, sorry, David, I'm thinking of his father, <laughs> Davion Sykes with a great drive, drawing that contact with the body, getting himself to the free throw line in transition. Sykes having another solid game. He's been really good to the home stand so far. But for the Bobcats, now another missed free throw, 5 of 9 for the game. And one more coming up for Sykes. The player that missed the first 13 games of the year with a knee injury. This is a Bobcat team which has had a fight through injuries dating back to last year. Haven't had Drew Trinidad all season. It's interesting to Tyra Morgan all year either. Players like Sykes and Mason and Benson have missed chunks of the season this year as well. On top by five. Coming up on 12 minutes to go. Mantis off the screen. Doesn't pull the trigger from three. Top three-point threat on this App State team. Now he'll shoot. Can't connect. Rebound Sykes. Closing into the double-double. Sykes has been doing a tremendous job on that defensive glass. And you look here at the pressure by Xavion Brown putting on Jordan Mason. A lot of contact. And again, you've got to make sure you protect the basketball. Missed a little easy bunny. Worried about the contact. Ball poked away from behind. Save, though, by Harkham. Here come the Mountaineers, trailing 43-38. Xavion Brown back inside to Absent. Good pass to Huntley off the pump fake and lays it in. Yeah, a defensive breakdown right there by the Bobcats and, and the Mountaineers make them pay, and they get an easy layup. Huntley, another one of those bigs that plays so well around the rim for App State. Huntley, Absent, Spillers. All good players inside with the Mountaineers. Lead out of three and a Bobcat turnover. App State getting it back, trailing 43 to 40 when we return. 11-15 left in the second half. It is a three-point game between the Kansas Appalachian State. Yeah, he's he's been playing really well. You know, Coach Johnson said, you know, he's bringing that energy that they need to the Cats, and he's been impacting winning at a high level. Basically, he's just trying to keep Keep the game really simple. Let let the offense come to him and then really be that energy guy on the defensive end and on the boards. Out of the timeout, Mountaineers ball. Kind of a low-scoring night here. 43 to 40, 11 minutes left. Xavion Brown inside. Out of the double team, finds Huntley with the mid-range. And the rebound to Caden Gums. And again, Caden Gums, you know, you forget a lot of times, Brand. he is a true freshman out there playing. 
He plays the most minutes of any of the Bobcats, and he has all year long. He's been their most, you know, consistent guy handling the basketball, and he has grown up this year in this little bit of time. Only player averaging more than 30 minutes a game. Benson with a tough shot there. Bobcats have gone cold. They haven't scored in more than four minutes, but still forcing turnovers. Here's Elijah Tate challenging Absent and able to score around him. Fearless drive of the bucket by Elijah Tate. Yeah, and that's one of the things Coach Johnson has talked to his guys about is just, you know, you want to respect your opponent but not be scared of them. You, they want, you want to be aggressive and take it at them, and uh, you're seeing the Cats do that some. Harkham with a sweet stroke for the outside. Second three of the day for Harkham and a timeout taken by Dustin Kearns. And that'll lead to another timeout past the halfway point. Right now on the bench for Terrence Johnson. Just had a timeout called moments ago by Justin Kearns. Two-point game. Under 10 minutes to go. Pressure here from App State. Gums able to get it back from Turner. Freshman point guard goes to work. Sam Marcus native, Caden Gums. Staying home. His decision to play college basketball. Shot clock under 10. Pass deflected by Huntley. Saved by Tate. Tate inside against Harkham and missed everything. Yeah, it was really, again, lucky on the deflection there. They had Brandon Love in the paint and just didn't, couldn't get the pass to him. And now Abson finds a shooter. Harkham was looking for his second straight three. Rebound comes off to Brandon Love. Mountaineers 3 of 14 from three-point range tonight. They hit eight threes on Saturday. Brandon Love with a high percentage throw down fair for a four-point lead. Yeah, great, great dime there by Colton Benson, giving, it to, giving him to him in just the right spot. You know, the Cats really need to get Brandon Love going get that inside presence. Another miss three for App State, that time by Christopher Mantis, but then Harkham the takeaway from Gums. Harkham all the way inside. That was a hard physical play there. Drew contact first from Gums. Turner almost collapsed on top of Harkham as well. Was able to alter the shot. This will lead to free throws here for Harkham. And again, you're asking a lot. Again, really great way to to draw the foul, get himself to the line. You know, Arkham has been their steady Eddie, as I would say. He scored 20 points the last three games, 20 plus points. He's had nine three pointers the last two games tonight. He's already he's hitting two more three pointers again. He's sort of been some instant offense for these Mountaineers. Yeah, 26 season high at Georgia Southern on Saturday. 18 came in the second half. He is the 13th leading scorer in the history of North Carolina high school basketball at Granville Central High. If you're on that scoring list in that state playing high school basketball, then you're playing it pretty well as he hits both free throws. All the greats, Tobacco Road, right? High school hoops back in North Carolina. And again, you see now that the Mountaineers are really extending their pressure full court. You know, every possession, just really trying to see if they can catch the Bobcats. I want to say sleeping, but seeing if they can get some turnovers to get some easy buckets in transition. Again, the game close throughout. Mountaineers' largest lead to Bobcats' largest nine. Benson! Three-pointer right down the hatch for Colton Benson. That is the fourth three of the game for Texas State. That's a five-point lead. You know, and Colton Benson is so dangerous. You have to be there on the catch. You cannot give him any space or he can fill it up. Eight minutes to go. Xavier Brown backing down Mason. Able to get his way inside. Can't finish. Rebound Sykes. Here comes Texas State. Bobcats get another stop on defense. Yeah, a big pull of the rebound there by Sykes in traffic at the other end. The defensive rebound. Texas State has done a nice job this game. One and done for the Mountaineers on the defensive glass. Shot clock down to 10. Here's Benson just hit a three moments ago. Now Sykes on the take. Sykes all the way. Great decision there by 
Davion Sykes not settling for the jumper, but taking it all the way to the rim for a high percentage finish. It is a seven-point lead. The Mountaineers have gotten cold since that Harkham three coming up on seven minutes to go. Vances inside Absent. Picked up by Turner, backing him down. Absent muscles his way inside. On the fadeaway, goes glass and draws the Mountaineers to within five. Man, that was a heck of a shot by Absent. He back again, as you mentioned, got down to that spot. He wanted to be in deep post and an unbelievable touch off the glass with the finish there for the Mountaineers. And again, Texas State sort of taking their time down here. Making the most of their possessions. And again, great baseline jumper there by Christian Turner. He had too much space. Oh, way too much space. And again, that was a, a sort of a challenge. You're, you're playing the odds. You know, can he, can he hit that shot consistently? And he made that one. And again, foul by Texas State's gonna give Appalachian State, Appalachian State the ball on the baseline after the timeout. With 621, Bob Casa made their last four shots. They have built a seven point lead, 54 47. With just over six minutes to go, Davion Sykes, 13 for the Bobcats, Donovan Gregory, 12 for App State. Now, here's the ball, trailing by seven. Plenty of time to go in this one. For a team that has found a way to win a lot of games this year. Doing so down the stretch. Here's Gregory against Mason, backing him down, fading away. And the rebound collected by Brandon Love. Yeah, and again, that is so difficult to defend when you have a guy with the skill set of Donovan Gregory and the physicality. He can just back him down, and it's just you hope he misses, and he did. And Texas State was able to pull the board. Again, the Bobcats have been so good defensively over the past three games. Tough shot there for Sykes on the offensive end. Mountaineers going to stop now with the ball down by seven. As we approach five and a half to go. Here's Gregory against Benson. Able to feed it inside. Off the window. Shot no good for Spillers. Offensive rebound absent. And he and Benson locking horns. And the foul will be called against a much smaller Colton Benson. Yeah, again, you know, difficult there. Brandon Love almost had his hands on it. Went through his hands. And again, absent is he's a beast inside. I mean, he's been doing a great job on the glass for the Mountaineers. We know what he's doing as far as rim protecting. Um, you know, he is, he's a, he definitely is someone you've got to account for on every possession. Gregory into Harkham, drives inside, and a blocking foul called against Benson. One of the charge, that call not coming. Instead, Harkham will head to the foul line. Yeah, and it's hard to tell from here. My assumption is that he had his foot, and he did, on the restricted line, just the heel of that right foot. And so that is automatically a block. Talked about the tournament history between these two. They face each other March 11th, 2020, in this building. In the Sunbelt quarterfinals, the only year the Sunbelts had campus sites for the postseason over the past 15 years. Bobcats won that game. They were then scheduled to play South Alabama in the Sunbelt semifinals, then in New Orleans. However, the pandemic ended everything. That was the final game played for the Bobcats that year. Really the final game that most anybody saw for a long time. Yeah, it was. It was uh, definitely a, a, a different time. You know, I remember you and I sitting here when all that came down and things were starting to become canceled. Um, just... Again, an incredible time in history. Both free throws good by Harkham. Harkham up to 13 points. Five minutes to go in a five-point game. Here's Dawson. A lot of dribbling here by Dawson. Shot clock to five. Dawson wheels around and can't finish. But the ball just kind of stuck there into the hands of Dawson. Back on the Mountaineers. Chance to make it a one-possession game. Harkham, 4-3. Rebound love. Texas State. Three-point struggles continue for App State. Three of 16 in this game. Yeah, again, big. That was a big, big board by Brandon Love. Being able to pull that one down. And again, Texas State needs to continue to be aggressive and uh, take care of the basketball. And now 
There's a player down. That's Harkham. Maybe took a shot of the face. Whistle blows. And as you see, Harkham on the floor. There was no flagrant foul. Call on the floor. Stands. A common foul called against Hampson. No flagrant against Texas State. Yep, it's going to be Texas State basketball on the end line. Shot clock is at 20 seconds, and uh, we're playing basketball again. Bobcats have led for majority of the game. The Mountaineers have held a lead for all of one minute and 43 seconds. There's still a lot to be decided here with four minutes to go. Shot clock under 10. Sykes driving, fading, and that may have been tipped by Spiller. Spillers, and then you see Tate found to the other end by Brandon Love. That is, I believe, the 17th foul against Texas State should lead to the one and one. And for Love, that's his third. And a trip to the free throw line coming up for Miles Tate. Yeah, that's a tough, a tough break there for Texas State. Um, you know, I, I again would have to see a replay of that to know. It, it didn't look like there was a lot of contact by Love. It looked like Tate had really elevated and came down. But regardless, you know, you got to give credit to Tate getting in there with the big boys, grabbing the rebound and getting himself to the free throw line. And he missed the front end. Tate, a 78% free throw shooter, couldn't cash it in. Remains a five-point game. And again, you look at this Appalachian State defense. They are stout and aggressive and they have just been taking it at Texas State um, you know Jordan Mason man he is under some pressure duress out there with the basketball absent call for the foul here his third just the 14 foul against App State and you know with the only 14 fouls they're going to be ultra aggressive because you know they've got some fouls to give so they can take some chances trying to get steals in the half court Mason with it, shot clock down to 10. Squeezes through the screen, puts up a floater. Rebound Sykes for a seven point lead. Huge offensive rebound there by Davion Sykes. I mean, right time, right place. Extends that Texas State League back to seven. A 15 point, 10 rebound double double for Sykes, a sophomore. Harkham dishes Tate from the top. Big time three. Miles Tate cuts the lead out of four with three minutes to go. And again, you look at that, Donovan Gregory is up, up in Jordan Mason for 94 feet. And uh, that takes a toll on you. It takes a toll on both players. I mean, that takes a lot of energy. Get the ball into Love, see if he can go to work inside. Here's Love battling Absent, who swats it away. That now sets a program record for blocks in App State history in a single season. And then Tate loses the dribble, goes down to the floor, three Bobcats all around him. And they're going to call a tie-up, but the basketball will stay with Appalachian State with 2.32 to go. Yeah, really good hustle there by the Bobcats. Again, a slip on the floor, and again, great block you see here again by Absent. I mean, unbelievable timing at the top, the peak of it. And, um, you know, he is just an incredible shot blocker. Just a walking rejection. Just an Absent. Four-point game, Tate dishes absent, fumbling with it, out of bounds. Last touch by the Bobcats. Texas State pleading for a review. Officials talk things over, and they're going to change the call. Texas State basketball here. Yeah, good job by the officials. You appreciate that they listen to each other's voices. And, um, again, you want the call to be right, whether it's Again, Bobcat ball or Mountaineer ball, you want it to be right for these both teams. Again, these two have quite the history against one another with a lot of games coming down to the wire. And like another chapter to their history tonight. Coming up on two minutes to go. Mason to Sykes. You're going to get it back out to his point guard. Shot clock under 10. Mason and a Reaching foul, whistled against Donovan Gregory, his first, and only team foul number five. But for the Bobcats, a chance now to use a little bit more clock. Yeah, yeah, again, you get a shot clock reset to 20. You've got just under two minutes left in the ball game. And, um, you know, App State, 
again, only has five team fouls. You know, my only concern for Coach Johnson is Jordan Mason looks a little spent out there right now. He's been having to really monopolize the ball, and I'm glad Coach Johnson called the timeout, let him get a blow, because he has been having under unbelievable pressure with the basketball. No timeout, Texas State. Terrence Johnson has two remaining minute of the regular season. Yeah, and again, it just it makes it really difficult if you're playing in that play-in round. The number of back-to-back-to-back games you have to play to have to have an opportunity to win it all is, is just really, really difficult. And now comes to Benson. Under two to go in a four-point game. Benson trapped right away. Find Sykes. The Bobcats again are going to use some clock here, nursing his four-point lead. Now Sykes into love and taken away by Spillers. Here come the Mountaineers. Harkham may have traveled. No call. Saved by Tate. By Tate back to Harkham. 90 seconds left. Spillers. Turn around. It won't go. Rebound Mason for Texas State. Yeah, really good rebound again. Texas State has done an outstanding job tonight on the defensive glass, limiting them to one and done. And again, now is can te- can Texas State take care of the basketball? Again, the Bobcats holding on to this four-point lead. Here's Mason rises up, and it won't go. Again, this Bobcat defense playing so strong tonight. And it's been a trend for them as of late, holding teams below their per-game average. App State, a team averaging 78 a game, 54 right now, but a big bucket there, cutting this to a two-point game, 52.8 cast. App State identifies itself with the play of its defense. We're going to pace, play some good defense here in the final minute. As this team looks to pick up its ninth straight win and win number 20 on the year. Full court pressure, App State. And now the Mountaineers back off. Yeah, and one of the things that helps you with Sykes playing the four position is he can handle the basketball. And so that helps a little bit of a pressure release against this press of the Mountaineers. But now you're looking, you know, you got this possession, 14 seconds left. This is where Texas State has got to be able to execute. Here's Mason. Rises up and had it swatted away. Shot clocked out of six. And Coach Johnson calmly calls an inbounds play from the sideline. Six seconds left. And to Dawson. Let's it fly. And down it goes. Dylan Dawson. Cold-blooded buckets. And a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, really great execution by Texas State on the inbounds play. Gets a little bit, not letting him land, so they get the foul, the bucket, and the foul. Dawson's on the line, and um, you know he can get a little bit more. It is a two-possession game, even if he makes this, it's still two-possession, but it gives him a little more breathing room. I've catched just one of four from the line of the second half. Dawson on the year, 73%, and he is two of two tonight. Yeah. And you look, they've subbed folks in. Caden Gums has come back in now for Colton Benson for defensive purposes. And, um, you know, you've got D2 at the line, and he knocks down, completes the three-point play. 26 seconds to go, five-point game. Tate finds Harkham. He's going to put it up. He's fouled. Or no, I thought there was a whistle for a foul. There was not. Bobcats going to stop, and then a foul against Caden Gums deep in the backcourt, and now the Bobcats can sense it. Yeah, they really can. Again, great contest there by Caden Gums on Harkham. Harkham had a good look at it. Again, gets the rebound. They have to foul, and you know, now you need the freshman to step to the line and, and hit some free throws here. Well, that was a close contest of the Harkham three, and I thought the defender got a piece of the hand. That would have been huge. Raps State a chance to go to the line with the clock stop, but instead it's the Bobcats Shooting free throws. The one and one, and Gums will get one more. 75% on the year. Makes one here, becomes a three possession lead. (laughs) 
Something about this team in the month of February, they tend to figure things out. On top by seven, 61-54, 15.8 seconds to go. Timeout taken by Terrence Jump to go for three for App State here. Yeah, you do. 15 seconds is not long. Um, they've got to get a quick three, and Coach Kern still has one timeout. I can see a quick three timeout, set up a press foul, but they, they need to get something quick. Here's Tate. Tate driving inside. Instead goes for the layup, and he missed it. Tap up won't go, and then he's fouled with eight seconds left. 8.3 to go, seven-point game. Clock is stopped here for App State, but Mountaineers might be running out of time. Uh, you know, he ends up right now, the biggest opponent for App State is the clock. You know, there's just not enough time. One more to take. Yep. Again, this is the longest trip App State takes in the Sun Belt, traveling from Boone, North Carolina, all the way to San Marcos. And it's been tough for them to win in this building. Bobcats trying to hold on. Now a two-possession game after the first free throw make from Tate. Got them both. Timeout, Justin Kearns. As expected. Yep, as expected. He's going to get up in a press. You know, they're going to first try to not let Texas State get the ball inbound. Last State, but business to attend to here. 8.3 to go. On top by five. You heard Suzanne describe it. Mountaineers will try to force an early turnover. And then, if you don't get it, force the foul. Oh, and there's a turnover taken away, but the whistle blows and the ball was out of bounds. Last touch by Gregory. And it took about almost two seconds off the clock in the process. The clock is going to, no, they're going to add a second back on the clock. So, again, that was a very important part of that review. Yep. If you're App State, every tenth right now counts. Here we go, 7.5. Mason to trigger the inbound, into Sykes, dribbles away, Sykes past half court, and the foul comes with under three seconds to go, and that should do it. Yeah, unbelievable, great call by the coaching staff, execution by the players to do exactly what was drawn up to get the ball inbounds, and you get the ball in the hands of Sykes, who can sort of outrun some folks so they couldn't foul him initially. Um, you got to tip your cap to Coach Johnson and his staff, great call. Again, this has just been a different Bobcat team than the one we saw the first two-plus months of the season. This is the one and one. One more for Sykes. Sykes didn't have any double-doubles in his career before the homestand. Now he has two. Open the homestand with one against South Alabama. Has 16 points, 11 rebounds tonight. One streak ends and another continues. App State's eight-game win streak is over. Well, the Bobcats have tied their longest win streak of the season. They've won three in a row, all three wins coming in Sunbelt Conference.